It's baked, and today I'm going to show you how to make an easy seven segment display. It's very easy, and I'll show you how to make it. So it's going to consist of these three seven segment displays ran to a timer. The timer tells them what to say, and on off button with a reset. It's very easy. So I'm going to go over here, spawn something to put it, everything on. All right. Now, first, go into wire, wire display, seven segment displays. But before you put it on there, you gotta make sure you have these the color schemes right. And it's a little tricky, and you can mess with it for a while. I did because I wasn't really sure about what I was doing, and kept on messing up. But I finally figured it out. On the top one, that's gonna be the color that whenever it's not showing your number this is what it's going to be and the bottom one it will be the number that it's being told to show so it will show that color so on the top one make it transparent whichever but if you make it transparent it will be hard to wire up so I mean it's up to you so I'm just gonna do that and then on the bottom one make it I'm making mine bright green so that's what it's going to show whenever it's being told to show number so spawn three of those now go into your gates gate selection seven segment decoder now you're gonna spawn one for each one of your displays now we go to our gate time timer just spawn one of those off to the side oh there's not much room on you all right, so we got all that done. Now we'll wire the first half up, cause just to make sure everything's right before you go on any further. So for the wiring of the seven segment displays, they they made it so each one of these little segments has a name on it. This one's A, as you can see in the top, B, C, D, and so on. And so you just wire A from A to the seven segment A. And see how it lights up? B, so just wire the corresponding letters to each other, or else you'll mess it up and it'll look weird. and the end result of wiring it up together right now it's being told to output a zero so it should look like a zero and if the middle things if the only thing that's lit up is the middle then you had your your color scheme uh, flipped so you'll have to redo it and re rewire it together alright so you basically do that for each one it takes a while, a little time consuming, but it'll work. So this next part is going to be forwarded. Alright, now that we have all those uh, wired up, it should look like this so far. So if you're here, good. If you're not good, go back and find your mistake. So let's spawn a PHX tile real quick to put your R buttons on. Go into our wire 1 slash 0 button. Now find this will be your start button, start stop button, toggle checked, value on 1, value off 0. So spawn that and then reset button everything's the same except toggle. Toggle is off spawn that here. So now let's wire these together real quick. So wire, go to the timer, run to the start button, reset to your reset button. So there you have it. Alright, now 
we need to do our divide. So your seven segments will know what to display from ones to tens to hundreds. So go on to our, let's see, arithmetic, divide, now spawn only two for the tens and the hundreds. Now spawn a constant value. In On wiki he has two constant values, but to make it simpler, I'll just show you a simpler way to put those together. So number of values put two instead of one. Value one set to 100. Value two set to 10. All right. So I'm just going to put this in between those two. Now let's wire this together and we'll be done. All right. Now wire B. All right. We'll start on the ones. So wire the seven segment decoder A to the timer. For the tens, this is our ten wire segment seven segment decoder A to the divide chip. Divide chip A to the timer. B to the constant value of ten. And now for our hundred, we do pretty much the same for the ten. So seven segment decoder A to the divide. Divide A to the timer divide B to the constant value of 100. And it should work. Alrighty, there you have it. A seven segment decoder easy. I don't know how this can help. Maybe I guess you could put it for races and timers to see who can build something the fastest or see how long you're going to be AFK. Do whatever, I don't care. Have fun, though. Adios. Also, a quick something to add. If you want to have something go off at whenever the timer hits a certain point, you can do that fairly easily. What you do first, go into a wire, go to the gates, gate comparison greater than or equal to, spawn that, and go into go to constant value. So let's say we want something to happen at 7... 761. So make that number of values 1, value 1, 761. Alright, so spawn that there. Now explosives. Spawn that. Alright, now wiring it together. Go wire A from the greater than or equal gate to the timer. B to the constant value and detonate to the greater than or equal to. Now, once it's 761, boom! It's that easy. Have fun. Someone's calling. God damn it. I'm going to have to redo this.